Run accustomed to the tune He whistles night at noon His smile, his frown His ups, his downs Hi Vivian, thank you for joining us, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, Jose, how are you? I'm great. I am so excited that you're doing a show about Lena Horne, who not only is she a legend, but I feel she's really underrated. Yeah. So can you talk about why you're doing this show about her? Well, there was a producer by the name of Daniel Nardiccio who approached me maybe a year and a half ago. And he said, Vivian, I think that you should put a show together on Lena. He said, because her centennial is coming up. And it was like a done deal because years ago when I was being managed by the owners of the Apollo Theater, the then owners, Bobby Schiffman, uh, along with Honey Coles, uh, her uncle was the accountant for the Apollo Theater. And so one day, and I was going to Juilliard because that's my reason for being in New York as a classical singer. Anyway, so Bobby called me up and he said, I want you to come over to the office. I want to show you something. So I go over to the Apollo and inside his office is this huge brown trunk. So I said, what is that? He said, open it up and find out. When I opened it, it was filled with beautiful evening gowns. And I said, Bobby, what is this? He's, what happened is he asked Mr. Horn, Lena's uncle, to ask Lena if she had any gowns that she wasn't wearing anymore, would she consider giving them to this young artist he was managing? And she sent over this trunk. Wow. I tell the story <coughs> in, in the show, and it is a generosity that I never forgot. And so it was very easy for me to put a show together based on her life. And not only that, it's what she represented because she was heavily into activism and fighting for the rights of not only African Americans but for the rights of all people. So there were many sides to Lena that uh, uh, I think people, some people don't know about. And um, picking songs, she was known for singing standards. So I, oh God, I went through so many standards but I did choose songs that I absolutely love to sing but songs that I knew she was identified with. and narrative there's plenty of narrative uh, in the show and it's a joy and people seem to love it don't know why there's no sun in the sky stormy weather since my man and i ain't together keeps raining all the time is there a specific Lena recording that you absolutely adore? You know, of course, uh, stormy weather. I mean, come on, <laughs> stormy weather. But I also like her um, Lady is a Tramp. And I became aware of a song that is in the show as well that I had not been familiar with until I started going through her, her list of songs, and it's Lady Must Live. And uh, fabulous. But, uh, yeah, anything she sings. You know, I don't know if you know this. In the beginning, in the earlier part of Lena's career, do you know she did not think of herself as a singer? She thought she couldn't sing. Did, you, did I see? I got a look on your face. I knew you did. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, she she would listen to some of the great great singers, and um, and she basically trained herself to be a good singer and and a and fantastic performer just by watching other greats that she respected. So it was amazing, but she did not, she started off as a dancer in the Cotton Club. Yeah, she was a dancer, honey, in the Cotton Club, not even a singer. That came about later. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, it, the way that she learned from other singers, what would you say you learned from Lena, from listening and watching her? You know, I don't know if I learned um, as much as Stephen Holden from the Times used to, every time he would write a review on me, he would say something about the firepower <laughs> that she has that's like Lena Horne. So one day I went back, I went to the YouTube, and I said, okay, let me see what he's talking about, because I had seen the lady in her music, and I knew that she was a, you know, like a gritty, get-down kind of performer, and she dealt with the lyrics. But then when I saw performances, I said, you know what, I get it, because I deal with lyrics. I get inside my lyrics, I tell my students, if you cannot communicate with the audience through the lyrics, then what have you, you have nothing. So I definitely see the similarities. That's where Lena and I are akin, because she just knew how to sell a song, 
And I love selling a song, love connecting with that audience. So that's what I used to get from her, or the one and only time I saw her live. She just thrilled me. She, she gave a thousand percent. Can't go Oh